All right, so as promised, I did say I was gonna go ahead and film a kitchen fall decorate with me video. So we're gonna go ahead and do that quick. I don't want this video to be too long or too chatty, especially since I'm using a lunch break to film it. So on the table, I just have a bunch of things that I'm gonna use to decorate in my kitchen. I have it all set out and ready. I kind of have an idea of exactly what I wanna do in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. start off by decorating the coffee nook. This is one of my favorite spaces to decorate in the kitchen just because I really love how it looks. I love an aesthetically pleasing coffee space. All your hopes and efforts are all in vain. Who will pick you up when you've lost everything? too fond of the sign hanging so low but it covers up the outlet back there I hate that outlet it doesn't look nice over here so I really would love to have the sign all the way up here but I'm just gonna have to suck it up it doesn't look too bad I feel like this jar with the corn kernels and wheat is too low. It needs some height, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this underneath. I found this at the Target dollar spot for only a dollar. It's so cute, that little fake palette. I love it. It sucks that you won't be able to see like the writing on it with it back here, but it'll at least give it some height because the white pedestal that I tried was too high. So I think that's good. All right, I think it's safe to say the coffee nook area is done. If I put anything else over here, it'll be too cluttered. I think I like the way it looks. It's cute. All right, I had to turn the brightness like way up so that you guys can see because the window is bringing in too much sunlight and it's making it shadow black. Um, so over in this space, I don't usually put a lot of decor. I just like to spruce it up a little bit and add a pop of orange or whatever. So we're just going to see what we can do over here. It's going to be very simple. We're gonna go ahead and change out the soaps. I do this every single season and holiday. I like my Dawn soap to match the holiday that we're going into. So we're gonna switch out that blue with the orange. And then we're gonna switch out this vanilla cone with one of these two. I don't know which one. This is afternoon apple picking. That one looks cute. Or I like the copper top on this one too or the maroon and that goes good because these are maroon leaves up here so I think this one is good this one is the perfect autumn looks good So we 
we've definitely got to do something with this area over here because it's just way too plain and empty and it's driving me nuts. Let's go ahead and sprinkle some fall over here. you close maybe hold your hand a little while somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own we ride around in style sleeves rolled up glasses on and then you make now that's more like it that's what i'm talking about baby look at all that fall over there in that corner that tear tray came out so cute i'm obsessed and i think we're done over here my heart starts racing when I'm with you. for like three years now and I keep using these same ones every single year because the graphic is just that cute I love how country rustic that graphic is I have yet to find new fall towels that are better than these ones so I just keep reusing these if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> do too much with the refrigerator I mean who really does I like to maybe throw some fall pictures on the fridge door and do a cute little doodle on that whiteboard but that's pretty much the extent of it uh, last year was it last year or a couple years back I made this cute uh, 
pumpkin wine cork thingamajiggy and it is so stinking cute it looks like a little pumpkin and I had it somewhere I think it was in the playroom last year but I feel like it seems more fitting on top of the refrigerator right next to the bottle of wine up there so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and stick up there you can barely see it but she's there my wine cork DIY pumpkin is there and it looks cute have a couple items left here on the table to decorate with I'm gonna to throw together this uh, tray on the table and then these signs are gonna be hung up on the wall so let's finish it off was quick and easy this is what it looks like very simple I picked up these flowers today from Publix unfortunately it's too early yet that's the only downside to decorating early is they don't have all of the nice fall colored flowers out yet I was looking for like some burnt oranges and some burgundy flowers but this will do <laughs> single year I stick these signs in the same area so the tack holes are already there I went ahead and stuck the tacks back in and we're just gonna go ahead and hang them up quick I'm driving you're smiling just really doing nothing that's the thing I like about you mm. on the highway it's our way Route 66 and we keep on driving we just do what we Nothing left to decorate in this kitchen and that means we are done I love the way it came out it looks so cute all of these little nooks in this kitchen now have the fall vibe going on and that makes my heart happy the next space that I'm gonna decorate for fall is the kids playroom you guys don't want to miss out on that one because that's where I go crazy <laughs> I'm going to be making it look super awesome. I have so many cute ideas for the playroom this year. So definitely stick with me. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And I'll see you in that video. No, nothing's complicated.